Hey guys, it's Mikleo, and today we're, uh, we're playing an old one, the Oregon Trail. And it's one that I'm sure most of you heard of the same way I have, which is just watching other people play it, because, uh, it's definitely way before my time, about 25 years, so I didn't play it growing up. Uh, but I have played it a couple times before, and I've beaten it some of those times, so let's see how we go this time. Uh, and for this playthrough, I'm going to choose the hardest option. Uh, I'm not certain, but I believe all they affect is money. Actually, I'm going to find out the differences. Uh, yeah, Banker will have more. Yeah, it just affects money. Farmers, 400. Carpenters, 800. Bankers, 1600. So let's try Farmer. And I will name my... A caravan after some of my friends in, like, my main friend group. So I won't be participating in this adventure because there are six of us and there's only five slots. So, and I don't want to leave anyone out. So we have Tristan, Bridget, Reese, Snart, and Snemmy. No, it's Nemi. So enter. Yes, these names are correct. As for leaving, uh, I believe leaving later is the, like, it's not as good. If you leave too early, you won't be able to get any grass. But if you leave too late, yeah, you don't want to get caught by winter. So, uh, I think I'll leave in April. And yeah. I'm not going to be able to get a lot for my money, so. Uh, just right now, I'm going to do two yoke, even though uh, that's a lot less than he recommends. Food is rough. I'll do 800 pounds of food. Clothing. I'll do five sets of clothing, one for each person. Ammunition. I'll do a bunch of boxes so I can get hunting done well. Actually, let's get let's get some more boxes just in case. Not eighty boxes. That's a lot of boxes. But ten boxes. There we go. And spare parts. Uh, how much money do I have left? So I can do 333 three, three, and I'll have exactly 400. Um, but I'll do. No, 222. Two, two. So I can spend a bit more. Mm. Let's go back to five boxes of ammo, because that's 100 bullets. And then I can get one more oxen to the three recommended. So I'm broke which might be an issue in some places but we'll burn that bridge when we get to it <laughs> let's get on the trail No more of that! That was very loud. Was not expecting that. Uh, change food rations first and foremost to meager. I think that'll do us fine for now. And pace strenuous. To the middle road. May as well talk to people. What do people have to say? A town resident tells you some folks seem to think that two oxen are enough to get them to Oregon. Two oxen can barely move a fully loaded wagon, and if one of them gets sick or dies, you won't be going anywhere. I wouldn't go overland with any less than six. Well, you rich bastard, I only have enough for three. I'm leaving, you freaking bourgeois. Alright, first off to the Kansas River. Of course, we're just starting out, so things are good. You should get there by tomorrow. Nice, there we go. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll definitely look around. No longer looking around, because why is it so loud? 
<laughs> anyway, let's just continue on the trail. Uh, you must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is 635 feet across and 5.7 feet deep in the middle. I think the average oxid is like, I want to say like 5 feet tall. So there's no way we can afford that. And we don't have any money, so we can't take a ferry. So all we can do is caulk the wagon and float it across. So let's, let's hope we don't crash. Looks like everything's gone all right. Nice. We had no trouble. Hells to the yeah. Next off to the big blue river crossing. Oh, broken wagon wheel. Would you like to try and repair it? Yes, of course. You are unable to repair the broken wagon wheel, so you must replace it. Dang. Uh, check supplies, so we're down a wagon wheel. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. We can continue on. We're in good health. Everything's fine. Yes, I would love to look around. I'm going to prepare my ears, though. Yep, that's about what I expected. Oh, uh, let's talk to some people. We've had enough. Pesky flies all night and mosquitoes... Or pesky flies all day and mosquitoes all night. It's either baking sun or oceans of mud. And sometimes both. Worry over Indians attacking. Haven't seen any yet, but still a worry. <laughs> They're not gonna attack you, dude. <laughs> Chill. Man. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, 3.8 feet deep. We could probably ford that, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to caulk the, the wagon and hope I don't, like, spill over. All right, things are all good. Nice, nice, nice. All right, just... I didn't read what the next uh, thing was. It looks like it's a fort, though, so that's... I mean, that's all right. We're not going to be able to buy anything because we have no money, but... Preparing my ears. Yep. All right, uh, let's talk to someone again. The game is still plentiful along here, but getting harder to find. With so many overlanders, I don't expect it to last more than a few years. Folks shoot the game for sport, then take a small piece and let the rest rot into the sun. Well, how could they? Alright, now we're heading to Chimney Ro Oh, Severe Blizzard in April? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, I guess... The weather's still warm, though. A blizzard in April? I mean, I'm from Canada, and that's rare here. Like, and this is in the States. So what? <laughs> yeah, let's look around at Chimney Rock. Uh, what do the people have to say? Chimney Rock by Moonlight is absolutely sublime. Many Indians came to our wagon with fish to exchange for clothing. We bought a number. Uh, they understand swap and no swap. Seem most anxious to get the shirts and socks. Probably want to prepare for the cold. Which, the weather seems to be cold. Let's... We're still in fair health, but let's rest for a day or two. Just, you know, to ward off that dysentery. Because anybody who's played this game knows you will always die of dysentery. Anyway, let's get to Fork. Fork? Fort Lomery. La, La Rami. Words are hard. Anyway. Ooh, this fort's a lot bigger than the last one. The last one was just like a house. This one's an actual fort. Yeah, let's look around. The mountains were pink. Uh, I don't know if that's good. That that seems kind of bad. Anyway, let's talk to people. 
Uh, be warned, stranger. Don't dig a water hole. Drink only river water. Salty as the Platte River is, it's better than the cholera. We buried my husband last week. Could use some help with this harness, if you can spare the time. It doesn't even give you the option to help. That's fair. Uh, what is our food at? Well, we still have 500 left. We're, we're good for now. Uh, but let's, let's rest a bit more now that we're at, like, a fort. Three days, how will that do? Still unfair health, but it's warm now, so that's good. Uh, now we're headed to Independence Rock, huh? So far, so good. Oh, there we go. Losing the trail. Lose five days. How do you lose a straight line? Like, come on, this game's two-dimensional. You found an abandoned wagon with the following. 63 bullets and two wagon wheels. Nice. That gives us the two back for the one we had to use earlier. And it makes me happy I didn't spend much more uh, money on bullets because we just got some free ones. As soon as this pop pop uh, the pop up like happened, I was scared because I'm like, oh no, are we? Did we lose some stuff? An adequate grass. I mean, yeah, it looks like we're over like a desert. I I can see that. A thief comes during the night and steals two oxen. <laughs> no, we have only have three. We're not gonna be like moving at all. Oh, wait, what? Oh, two yoke. A yoke would be two ox. Okay, so we're fine. We have four. We're still moving. So when I, when I was talking smack to that guy earlier, but like, oh, Rich, we had six already. I must have seemed quite the fool. But let, let's look at the map. Let's see where we are. We're about a third of the way there. We're making good time. We're making good time. Um, uh, what are our food rations at again? 340, so we might want to try and hunt for food. Uh, enter key, okay. Oh no, the squirrel or whatever is like... This is weird to control. I mean, I sort of understand how it works, but it's still weird to control. All right, that that should be enough to get the the food limit. So I'll just wait it out now, because you can only carry back so much. And I don't want to waste my bullets on things I can't carry. Oh, seventy-one pounds of meat. So we didn't get the food limit, but seventy-one pounds is still good. So let's continue on the trail and reach this rock, Independence Rock. Of course, I'd like to look around. Okay. Alright, let's talk to people. Uh, Big Louie. Goodbye, Platte River. Goodbye, Sand Hills and White Buffalo Skulls. Now we climb the Sweetwater Valley to cross the Continental Divide at South Pass. Once across the Rockies, we'll make a steep descent into the Green River Valley. Okay, let's, well, let's continue on. So now we're going to South Pass. Bad water, yeah, uh, I mean, I don't really see that much water around here. Oh, our health health is very poor, and Bridget has a fever, so uh, <laughs> let's, let's rest. Let's see how much a week does. And we'll definitely have to hunt after this. We're still poor. Uh, let's look at our supplies. So, um, yeah, we will need to hunt. Get that squirrel. Come on, bigger animal. Damn. I mean, the squirrel's not a bigger animal, but... Where are the animals? I can't hunt if all you give me is, like, two squirrels and a deer that I can only shoot one of. <laughs> the bear appeared for, like, a frame. No, come back. Damn it! Only four pounds of meat? Are you serious? Gotta hunt again. Oh, we'll get the bunny rabbit and the squirrel and... Come on! Stop just appearing and running away, you cowards. Get back here. Get back here, you cowards! 
I can't really, like... <gasps> come on. Come on. No. No. Come back. Come back. No. Damn it. I'm gonna get, like... Ooh. Ooh. Yes. That'll get us some good meat and some good food. Okay. 900 pounds of meat? However, you were only able to carry 100 back to the wagon. Yeah, that makes sense. Can I take nine trips, though? Like, I would love those 900 pounds of meat. What are our supplies at? Yeah, let's... Let's rest another week to get our health out of, health out of poor. Hopefully. Yeah, that's good. And we'll need to hunt once more. Uh... Assuming we get food. Come on. Gotcha. Get over here, you you bison. I think we've shot more than we can carry at this point, though. So now I'm just going to wait it out. 900 pounds that I can't even carry back. What is this? I'm so mad. Yeah, so our supplies, we should be at, like, yeah, well, we're, we're good for now, so let's keep going. Hopefully Bridget's fear has cleared up. Yeah, let's look around at South Pass. Okay, uh, let's talk to someone. A Mormon traveler tells you, My family and I travel with 40 other families to the valley of the Great Salt Lake to seek religious freedom. Back east, Mormons are persecuted. In Utah, we'll join together to build a new community, changing the desert into a farmland. Uh, I wish you the best of luck, man. Uh, Green River Crossing or Fort Ridger? Um, the way I'm looking at it, Fort Ridger is... Longer? Oh, but there's still a river between us and Fort Bridger as well. And then Green River Passing would probably be like a ferry, but I don't have any money to take the ferry. I'll just head to Green River Crossing. And there might be another way to cross. Hopefully I don't just break in the middle of the river and drown. Yeah, let's look around. Uh, let's talk to someone. Uh, my family didn't buy enough food and independence. We we have been eating very small rations since Fort Lama... Lama... <laughs> because of that, our health is poor. My sister has mountain fever, so we're stopped here for a while. I'm sorry to say that. Oh, yeah, we're definitely not fording this. Uh, I mean, we can wait, but that's still 20 meters. Or 20 meters, 20 feet deep. Uh, so we're just gonna have to caulk it and hope. Please. Oh no! <laughs> Nemi, Snurt, Reese, and Bridget all drowned! Only Tristan is left! <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry guys! Uh. Oh, I'm so upset. Uh, I mean, I guess we're not going to have to worry about food anymore. In fact, have some filling rations, Tristan. And let's, let's take a rest to grieve. Oh. And what are our supplies at? Yeah, we still have plenty of food. Um... <laughs> I guess we just keep going now. Tristan is lost. Lose five days. I mean, I'd get lost too if I had to navigate after everyone. Oh man. That's so distressing. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's have a look around. What a jam. 
Uh, I've heard it said that there are many cutoffs to take to shorten the journey, that by taking all the shortcuts, you can save many days on the trail. And why not? Saving time and provisions is worth the risk. I just lost four people, Miles Hendrick. You can take that risk and shove it up your- Okay, continuing on the trail to Fort Hall. Oh, man. <sighs> Health is getting poor, so we're gonna rest in Fort Hall. Yeah, let's take a look around. Okay. Stop to rest. Uh, two weeks. Oh, I can't do two weeks, so let's just do nine days. Why not? Get our health into good, hopefully. It's still in fair. What are our supplies at? <laughs> We're fine. Let's go. I don't want to talk to anyone after Miles Hendrick. Wild fruit. Nice. Be careful with that, though. One of the oxen is injured. From what? What do they do? Let, well, let's rest and hope the oxen gets not injured another week. Sure. I mean, it's not like we're running out of food anytime fast. We're in good health. Let's keep going. Cool weather. Nice. Oh, it's hot again immediately. Inadequate grass. More wild fruit. Let's keep going. Tristan has a broken leg. Tristan, what are you doing? Oh, let's rest again. Let's, let's let that heal. I, I don't want all my friends to die. Oh, I'm so distraught. <laughs> Everyone died all at once. Very little water. What do you mean? There's a river right there. Yes, sure, I'd look, like to look around. Alright, let's... Uh, let, let's hire an Indian to help. For two sets of clothing? Yeah, there's only one of us. We don't need five sets of clothing. Thanks, Soshoni. Let's... <sighs> I honestly don't know what to say. How could that happen? Alright. Let's uh, look at the map. Where are we? Uh, we just have a couple checkpoints to get to. Fort... Boyce, the Blue Mountains, Fort Walla Walla, and the Dales. Dallas? I don't know. And we're still okay on food, considering there's only one person left. <sighs> okay, that's fine. I still have bullets. Let's hunt a bit more. Let's get that bear. Nice. We don't need to hunt anymore. <laughs> that bear is going to be like 2,000 pounds of food that I can't bring back. Oh, hey, another bear. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's continue on the trail. Rough trail, inadequate grass. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You were able to repair the wagon axle. Yeah, now we don't have to use the spare. Hey, let's continue on the trail. I don't care that it's raining. Nice, eat that wild fruit. Tristan has dot. How? Their, their health was fair. How did you die, Tristan? Uh, what happened? That came out of nowhere. Here lies Tristan. Would you like like to write an epitaph? Uh, I have to actually ask Tristan about this. What do they want their their epitaph to be? All right, I have gotten a response from Tristan. Tristan, and what they want on their tombstone is, they died as they lived. Scream or it's not screaming, crying. 
<laughs> I almost typed screaming because they said something with the word screaming directly under crying, so. But yes, they died as they lived, crying. Would you like to make changes? No.